of the so I'm going to have her on the legs up. So she's going to obviously be on the leg that we're not testing, okay, for hip abduction. And um, I would, can you, I have to do this a little bit more. So I want her toes so pretty much still on the mat because I don't want her using anything to compensate. Okay. So with the hip abductors, I would have her um, bring in her non tested leg and do a little bit of flexion. Okay, so she has a little bit of hip and knee flexion because I want to make sure that this is the leg that's doing most of the effort. I'm going to stabilize over at the pelvis and I'm going to resist more of the lateral thigh, okay? Lateral with me, though. So I can ask her, Emily, can you bring this leg up towards the ceiling for me and hold it? I'm going to push in resistance and I want you to hold it there. Okay, count kind of three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. And that's how I would test her hip abduction. Mm -hmm. Okay, stabilize the So for hip adduction, it's a little bit different because now, let's say I would be testing the hip that's on the bottom, okay? So for hip adduction, I would have her also in a sideline position, but I'm gonna have both of her legs extended out, okay? And I'm going to have her bring the leg that I'm not testing up into abduction, okay? And I'm gonna support it. So I'm gonna stabilize or support the leg that we're not testing. And so with this motion, I would have her bring, let's say we're testing the right leg, so I would have her bring this up towards the left leg. I'd say, Emily, can you bring this to meet your left leg? Good. Now I'm hold it there, I'm going to resist you. Okay? And I would resist. <laughs> <laughs> okay? So that's how I would do her hip adduction. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't